Thank you for coming today. Today, we'd like to take you on a tour to three dignified Japanese sightseeing attractions. We will be the guide for you today. Did you know that about 800,000 Americans come to Japan every year for sightseeing? First of all, my co-guy, Mai, will take you Mount Fuji. Next, I will take you Gion City. Finally, my co-guy, Saika, will take you Miyajima. During the tour, you can enjoy popular tourist sites, valuable treasures, and rich history. Today, you don't need a passport. <laughs> you don't need any money. All you need is your fashion. <laughs> First of all, Mai will guide you to Mount Fuji. Please enjoy and have a safe. <laughs> Thank you, Saika. So, have you ever heard of Mount Fuji? Yes. Mount Fuji is the highest mountain in Japan at 12,388 feet. As you know, Mount Rainier is the highest mountain in Washington state. Amazingly, Mount Fuji is the sister mountain of Mount Rainier. So today, I will talk about three main points about Mount Fuji. First, history. Next, interesting story about Mount Fuji. And finally, I will talk about climbing Mount Fuji. Let's begin with the first one. Mount Fuji extends over Yamanashi and Shizuoka prefecture, but the top of Mount Fuji hasn't been settled in any prefectures. It was just placed on the World Heritage List in 2013. Mount Fuji has had a lot of volcanic activities. About 300 years ago, the whole Mount Fuji area was a part of the Pacific Ocean. The small mountains began erupting many times and finally transformed into a high big mountain. Also, there are five big lakes at the bottom of Mount Fuji. They were called Fuji Five Lakes. Fuji Five Lakes was also placed on the World Heritage List in 2013. They have been used for various activities such as canoeing, fishing, and pleasure boating. There are also many recreational facilities like museums, parks, hot springs, and so on. Mount Fuji has been the Japanese spiritual home for the people of Japan for a long time. It has been drawn in many paintings. Katsushika Hokusai, a famous ukiyo-e painter, drew many paintings on Mount Fuji, which is called 36 views of Mount Fuji. They were very popular and loved by many people all over the world. So next, I will talk about interesting story about Mount Fuji. Until in 1872, women were not allowed to climb Mount Fuji because they were regarded as impure for pilgrims. <coughs> However, one woman, Tats Takayama, climbed Mount Fuji with male clothing to make climbing Mount Fuji equal for men and women. She climbed Mount Fuji successfully, and since then, women have been allowed, allowed to climb Mount Fuji. Tats Takayama proved ladies are strong. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, I will talk about climbing Mount Fuji. Every year, about 300,000 people <coughs> climb Mount Fuji. The climbing season at Mount Fuji is just for two months, from July 1st to the end of August, because, because the, after September, the, we, the weather turns too bad to climb. I also climbed Mount Fuji this summer, and it was my first time to climb any mountains, so I joined a two-day guided tour. I prepare like this for climbing. I recommend you wear mountain boots because it's easier and safer to climb than your usual sneakers. 
Also, you need lots of water to prevent altitude sickness. Additionally, you can get something to eat or drink at the mountain huts. These are like devil edges, cup noodles, and Mount Fuji curry and rice. These are actually so expensive, so I call them fantasy fries. <laughs> <laughs> the normal bottled water is five dollars. A cup noodle is six dollars. You can buy them for less than one dollar at Walmart, right? <laughs> it's crazy. However, there is a reason because it costs a lot for daily charge. For the same reason, and it's preserving the environment, it costs about one dollar just to use the toilet. Can you believe it? So I recommend you bring some coins with you. Uh, I climbed up Mount Fuji in eight hours. Of course, I took many breaks and finally reached to the top. I was very lucky to see the magnificent sunrise from the top of Mount Fuji. It was very beautiful, so I wish you could see that as well. The man who guided us said, your dreams will come true if you wish them while you are watching the sunrise at the top of Mount Fuji. It was romantic, but then climbing down was very hard because <laughs> I was tired and trail were steep. In my case, it took about five hours to climb down. That was actually hard, but I really enjoyed the beautiful scenery. Climbing Mount Fuji was a very good memory and experience for me. So if you want to try something new or see the beautiful nature in Japan, why don't you climb Mount Fuji? <laughs> I promise you will have a great experience. So in conclusion, Mount Fuji is a very attractive mountain with a long history and interesting story and loved by many people all over the world. We Japanese treasure it as a Japanese icon. Thank you for listening. <laughs> So next, Yuki will take you on a tour to Gion City. Thank you, Mai. That was interesting. Okay. Let's continue our tour, and next, let's go to Gion. Kyoto is one of the cultural prefectures in Japan. This summer, Kyoto was ranked first place in the world for the best tourist destination. Gion is, Gion is a city near Kyoto, near Kyoto with a, with ancient entertainment and unique culture which have been inherited from the ancient day. When you walk on Gion Street, you can find many tiny tori gates. Why are many tiny tori gates displayed at the street? Do you have any idea? <laughs> People who get drunk often urinate at the street. That's gross, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Since every tori gate is a gate, enter into the world for the gods. It's dignified for Japanese people. So young people came up with the idea to prevent urinating at the street. Many Japanese tourists visit Gion to become calm or to enjoy sightseeing. Also, Gion is popular among foreigners. Today, I'd like to introduce three reasons why Gion is popular. First, the elegant Maiko. Second, the tri Majestic Gion Festival. Third, the Treasure Temple Keninji. Let's move on to Maiko. Maiko is famous, famous female occupation in Gion. Maiko has long tradition of 300 years. The origin of Maiko is waitress at tea house. Regardless of occupation, they don't receive salary. They are in training as a kind of traditional Japanese entertainer or hostess. Maiko will, will become geisha in the future after training. Girls can become Maiko from 15 years old. After five years of study, they can become geisha. When you hear Maiko, 
What do you imagine? They are not prostitutes. Their job includes dancing, playing game, playing traditional Japanese instrument called shamisen, and treating the guests to a delicious meal. Also, they, they, show, uh, they show many performances. Look at this picture. What a funny pose. <laughs> Let me turn out the interesting facts about Maiko. Maiko is prohibited from sweating in front of guests in summer because it makes guests hot too much. Can you do that? <laughs> also, Maiko can only wash their hair once a week because it takes long time to make their hairstyle. By the way, do you know Maiko walk around Gion City at noon? To tell the truth, they are not real Maiko. They are all tourists. Nowadays, tourists eat or drink while putting on Maiko's costume. As you can see, this appearance is not good. So foreigners misunderstand culture of Gion. This is brought into the question. There is big difference between real Maiko and Tourist Michael. Real Michael have never walked around the street at noon because they have to train at the tea house. They appear at night. But if you meet Michael, please don't speak to Michael. They are on the way to the tea house. Let's look at the majestic Gion Festival. It's held at Yasaka Shrine every July. The festival is one month long. The symbol of Gion Festival is Yamahoko Junko. Yamahoko means float. Junko means tour. The length from the ground to the head is 80 feet, 82 feet. The gross weight is 12 tons. About 50 people pull it and, around, pull it and walk around Gion City. On the Gion Festival Day, the street is a, the street is the street is lined with many vendor food. This is the most popular food, pork buns. About 7,000 pork buns are sold in four days. This is fish shaped cake. Usual fish shaped cake includes bean jam, but this cake includes bacon, eggs, and mayonnaise. Finally, I'll tell you about Treasure's Temple, Kenninji. Can you see this floating screen? It's called The Wind and Thunder Gods. It's a national treasure. Kenninji is famous thanks to it. Kenninji was built about 812 years ago. The originator is Eisai. His photo always shows him with a sharp head. This strange head indicates extraordinary talent. So if you have sharp, sharp head, you must be genius. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Ninji has three stunning gardens. One of them is called Circle Triangle Square Garden. There is square well and sand which is drawn in a circle and triangle. The circle represents water. The triangle represents fire. The square represents the earth. This form represents all things in the universe. In conclusion, Gion has many traditional job events and treasures. This makes tourists want to come back again. So Gion is many people who visit Gion many times. The special atmosphere will take you to the mysterious time. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Next, my co guide Saika will take you to Miyajima. Please enjoy. Thank you, Yuki. Let's continue our tour and now to Miyajima. Japan has about 7,000 small islands. One of the small islands is Miyajima. The name literally means Shrine Island. It is known as an island where people and God live together. It is located in Hiroshima Prefecture. 
The population is 1800s. The size is one fifth of Spokane. There are many stunning spots. So in 1996, 40% area of Miyajima was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you visit there, you can enjoy various scenery by the season, such as spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Therefore, there is Therefore, there is um, many famous things. Today, I would like to tell you about three things. First, historical Itsukushima shrine, and second, Mount Misen, and finally, traditional sweets, maple steamed bun. First of all, I'll guide you to Itsukushima shrine. It is established in 593, so it has long history. As you can see, it was built in the sea. Most of the shrine built at the ground level. Why was it built in the sea? Because whole Miyajima Island was believed in as a god. So if people cut the tree or dig in soil, it injured the god. That's why Itsukushima Shrine built in the sea. This is a, a famous tree gate made with wood. Tree gate is the entrance for God to enter the shrine. The height is 50 feet, weight is 60 tons. Can you imagine? It is 10 times as height as mine. <laughs> <laughs> this tree gate stands by only heaviness by the ancient people. So even if a typhoon and as earthquake would come, it doesn't move and doesn't fall down. And also, when it was made, uh, ancient people thought about wax pool of tides. So view changes by the flow and ebb of tides. Tree gates usually stand in the sea. However, at the time of ebb of tide, water goes down and the beach of tree gate dries up. When it happens, you can go to the tree gate and touch it. This is the symbol of Itsukushima Shrine. Consequently, Itsukushima Shrine has a mystic spot. Now, let's move on to the Mount Misen. Mount Misen rises as a World Heritage Site with Itsukushima Shrine. The height is shorter than Mount Fuji, but uh, charms doesn't lose. Many people climb this mountain to, to gain favor with God. At the middle of the mountain, there is a temple called Rabat Sanctuary. In this temple, there is fire which has which has continued burning about 1,200 years without ever going out. No one knows why this fire doesn't go out. This is one of the mysteries of Miyajima. Also, marvelous healing water is boiled. It is known the relation between two people become forever like this eternal fire when they drink this water together. Do you have a people you love and want to be with forever? <laughs> if you have, you should, uh, you should definitely try visiting there with your important person. Finally, I'll talk about traditional sweets. This is a maple steamed bun, uh, which has been loved by more than 100 years by the local people. When you see this, what do you imagine? Only maple leaf? It has interesting history. In 1906, Hirofumi Ito, the Japanese first prime minister, visited the tea shop at Miyajima. And he saw tea server's beautiful hand. And he said, I want to eat your beautiful hand like maple steamed bun. If, 
if I eat this, uh, if I cook this and eat it, it will be delicious. And Clark heard his strange comment and invested vapor steam in the van. Nowadays, you can enjoy various flavor of maple steamed bun, such as chocolate, green tea, cheese, fruit, and so on. If you visit <coughs> there, please try looking for your favorite flavor. In conclusion, Miyajima has many mystic spots. Once in your life, please visit and obtain luck. Thank you for your listening. Our trip. <laughs> we hope you too have to understand Japanese sightseeing attractions treasured by Japanese and foreigners all over the world. In our, go <laughs> in our group conclusion, Mount Fuji, Gion, and Miyajima are um, special places in Japan. At this site, you can experience beautiful scenery, tra ancient tradition, and mystic places. If you have a chance to come to Japan, please visit Mount Fuji, Gion, and Miyajima. We will wait for you in Japan. <laughs> you will not regret it. Thank you for your attention. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, please. About Mount Fuji. Yes. When did you start your hike that day? Uh, the question is, when did, uh, when did I start hike that day? I, start, uh, I started climbing from 5 p.m. and to 9, and I slept two hours at the mountain hut. And then I climbed, I continued to climb. And then at, the, at 4 a.m., I watched the sunrise. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, yes. The question is, does Miyajima have monkey or deer? Yes, uh, there is many deer and monkeys. Any other question? Okay. Yes, please. The question is, uh, is Mount Fuji is still volcanic volcano? Um, no, it has dormant about 300 years. Any more questions? Yes, please. The question is, the laws to climb up and climb down is the uh, same? Uh, yes, it is the same trail. So um, it's important to say after you. So you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And finally, we have a souvenir from Guillaume. For you to enjoy here on the table. Please help yourself. Thank you.